Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas and I have a large spot for no lens here and I'm going to be showing you a bounce mirror. This is just a standard Fresnel lens focused on this chair. And you can see that we got the expected results from it. Now, next to that, you're going to notice that there is a piece of wood. I'm going to zoom in on that. And what we're going to do, that piece of wood is going to simulate a frying pan for bottom cooking. Now, in a previous video, Denise did some uh, cooking. This was about two years ago. We used a glass mirror, and the results were not that great. That's because the glass mirror kept breaking. This is a steel first surface mirror, and it has a near-perfect mirror finish. This one actually has some scuff marks from where I stepped on it with sand, so you don't really want to do that. But we're going to put this here. What I'm going to try to do is bounce the light to go up underneath it. And you can see that that works right away. That bounces right off of there. Now, one thing worth noting is that I'm able to touch this mirror. I don't recommend you do it. Uh, most of the light, this shows you how efficient this mirror is. This mirror will get hot. I mean, they'll probably reach temperatures close to 200 degrees with long exposures. So you can also angle this to, uh, to change that. I'm going to just stick a little stick up under there. I'm going to change the angle right there. And what that'll do is enable us to point the lens further back into the target at, with this sunlight. Now the sun's cleared up. And I'm going to back up to show you what I'm doing in case you can't figure it out. One of the things that you don't want to do is focus the Fresnel lens at the optimal focal length on the mirror. You want to go short of the focal length because this mirror, this metal material, the Fresnel lens is so powerful it'll actually put a divot in it. This mirror will still work. I mean these are designed, you're using a section of it, that's not going to make a big difference. You just don't want to focus your Fresnel lens in one spot tight there. You want a wide pattern here so that it comes up to your target and this will be fine. I'm your host Dan Rojas, thank you for watching and enjoy our videos. One quick thing, I'm currently working on the trough um, and so I have this mirror set over here, just leaned and it actually has a little curve and look at the beam that it's putting down. So that was, now the sun's gone, but you can see that just, this is only about maybe half the mirror that's even the effective focal area and we're getting spot temperatures well above 300 degrees, 360, 370, almost 400 degrees right there.